Hey everybody, it is Kat from Cat on Point. Long time no see. I know that's a separate video, but I um, am participating in a wonderful collab um, from Weight Watchers with Carrie. Um, she's hosting it, and there are a lot of other people who are also participating in this. I'm going to be watching their videos as well. Um, I am going to be doing a recipe that's really super simple today. And um, cauliflower is one of my favorite things to have, but I very often don't have it because number one, it stinks up the house, and number two, it just takes too long to cook, and I don't have the patience for it. So using my slow cooker to do veggies like cauliflower and also putting it outside, you know, is um, really a real good help. <laughs> You see somebody in the mirror back there. All right. So anyway, um, I'm going to put everybody's links below. Go and check out their videos. And thanks for watching this one. See you later. Okay. My last slow cooker recipe totally didn't work. <laughs> so I'm going to another one, which I've thought about making for quite a while. And it's going to be super, super simple. What I'm going to use is a whole head of cauliflower. I'm going to use about, uh, I believe, about a cup of this vegetable stock, um, and then some of the seasonal to taste. And then you can use any kind of um, seasoning on top of that that you want. I have this yogurt dip seasoning. One that works really well is maybe like a ranch dressing seasoning. Um, but uh, and if I use that, I'll I would not use the seasonal because that's kind of salty. But in this, there's, um, let me see, I will show you what's in it. Mint, uh, basil, tarragon, granulated onions, garlic, black pepper, and rosebud flour is in here. So I'm also gonna put that up on the top. And I'm gonna put everything, just set the whole, after I peel this and cut off the ends, I'm gonna set it in the crock pot. And then um, I'm gonna let this cook just like that because I like cook, cooking cauliflower, but I don't really like to take the time that it takes to cook it. So I'm just gonna cook the whole head. That way I can slice it up into steaks afterward. And I'm also, another good tip is, I'm gonna cook this outside. I have a little stand that I put it on outside on the porch because we're selling our house, so we have to show it. I don't want the house smelling like cauliflower. So I'm gonna actually set the cooker outside. while wow. Vegetable stock, I like using stock instead of broth because it's much more rich. It's nice and dark, and um, this is what it's going to actually sit in and steam in. While it's in here, I'm just gonna kind of like sprinkle some of the seasonal all the way around. With seasonal, because it gets a little salty, so I just took some of these and I just rubbed it in um, so that it'll stay on top. And then I'm just gonna cook this. I'm gonna put it on high, and I'm probably gonna cook it for about four hours, maybe. So it's not something I don't think I would leave overnight, um, not overnight, unless I had it on low. Okay, so I actually left it out like five hours instead of four hours. So here it is, and it's steamed up pretty well. It is really, it's kind of tender. So let me take both hands, and I'll bring it out on the plate. Here's my cauliflower, crock pot cauliflower, and I'm just going to, I think what I'm going to do is slice, slice it kind of. It's really tender. <laughs> that made a bit of a mess. Hold on. So here is one of the cauliflower steaks, so to, so to speak. And I have just a dollop of <clears throat> the olive oil mayo on it. That's how I like it. And it's nice and warm and tender. And actually, see how tender it is? Yum. And spicy. And um, before I added the olive oil, olive oil mayo, it was zero points. So however much, you know, ranch dressing oil you put on it, that is actually where your points are gonna come from. And I know this is incredibly simple, but it is incredibly tasty too. So there we go. I'm gonna have a good time having this. Mm-hmm.